Hey guys, what is up? It is DOS. Today we're going to look at Nginx Proxy Manager, a service that could really simplify how you access your internal web services. Let me start by explaining what a reverse proxy actually does since everyone might not be familiar with the concept. Think of it like a traffic director for your web services. When someone tries to access your services, your web app dot, your domain dot com, the reverse proxy receives that request and forwards it to wherever the service is actually running, maybe on port 8080 on some internal server. The reverse proxy handles all the routing behind the scenes. It has a web-based interface. It handles the Let's Encrypt SSL certificates automatically and is also completely free and open source, which is always nice. So let's show you how to get this set up. I've got a fresh virtual machine I'm going to use for the demo. I'll walk you through the entire process from start to finish. The Docker Compose file I'm going to be using will be in my Discord server, link in the description. I will also include a link to the official Nginx Proxy Manager website. Let's switch over to the terminal and we'll get this running. If we are in the terminal, we're going to need to do a few things. First things first is we're going to update our system. So apt update and then apt space upgrade space dash y. This is on Ubuntu. Once your system is updated, we're going to clear that. And now we're going to need to go ahead and install Docker. So go ahead and go to a web browser, open up a new terminal and type in Docker engine install and then whatever distro you're using so for our case we're using ubuntu we're going to click this top link right here scroll down just a little bit and then we'll see setting up docker's repository we're going to copy that command go back to our terminal paste that in and press enter this should just take a couple of minutes i'll see you guys once this is done once that is done we're going to open up the browser scroll down just a little bit more copy this next command and paste that in y to continue and press enter once that is done we should have docker installed so if it's just do docker space dash v there we go we have docker installed let's go ahead and clear our terminal one more time let's go ahead and create a folder so we're going to do mkdir and then what are we doing we're doing nginx proxy manager so we're going to type in nginx proxy manager we're going to go ahead and cd change directories into nginx proxy manager and then we're going to do vim or nano if you prefer nano vim space docker dash compose dot yml and press enter i for insert mode if you guys want to go to my discord and use the same exact docker compose that we will be using in this video go ahead and copy that paste that in there i am not sure why it pastes like that We're, we can fix this really quickly so we have the services we have the image which is nginx proxy manager and it's the latest restart unless stop the ports that will be opening which is 80 443 and 81 81 is for the management ui 80 is for the it's http but it helps do the auto ssl and then 443 is for the ssl https encryption and then we're just mapping the volumes from the container here so we're going to do colon wq for write and quit and that is pretty much it all we have to do now is go ahead and do docker space compose space up space dash d d for detach run in the background and press enter it's going to go ahead and pull that app and then it's going to go ahead and start it up once that is up and running we're going to need to get our ip so we're going to do ip space a and then for our instance it is going to be this ip right here go ahead and copy that open up a browser new tab paste that in and remember the management port is colon 81 so press enter and there's nginx proxy manager so if we go back to their docs right here we have the default admin user we're going to go ahead and copy that email paste that in there and then the password if you saw it was change me and then click sign in once we're signed in it does require you to change your email so make sure you type in a different email so for our case we're going to do dos at pseudo wudo dot dev and then we're going to click save we're going to need to change our password so remember the password is change me we're just going to type in a random password here and then click save once we are in we're going to go ahead and click dashboard here and now it does a few more things it does proxying it does redirection streams and 404 host we're specifically going to be focused on a proxy host here so we're going to click proxy host and add a new proxy host we're actually going to go to our terminal let's go to the main director here we're going to do app install nginx we're going to press y enter once that is installed we're going to go to cd etc nginx sites enabled we're going to vim into this default file and then we're going to change these ports to 85 and 85 and then we're going to need to reload so let's do start nginx reload nginx and then we should be good there so now in theory let's just go ahead and test it if we do ipa copy our ip again go to the web browser type in that IP and do colon 85. There we go. So we have a quick little website running. So we're gonna go to Nginx proxy manager here and do Nginx dot pseudo your, your 
uh your domain will go here not sudo that's my domain http the ford host name i believe we can just in our case do localhost and then we're going to do ford port 85 we're going to enable all this ssl we're going to request a new one force ssl and then hsts enabled and then we're going to do that right there there is one thing that we have to do before clicking save here make sure that your domain is pointed to your proxy's ip address don't point it to where your service is running point it to the ip of the nginx proxy manager instance now in our case the nginx server and the proxy is on the same ip so in this case it would not matter but we want to make sure that it actually pings and make sure that the dns record is active so we're going to go ahead and do ping nginx sudo wudo dot dev and us doing that, we should get an IP back. So as you can see, this is our Linode instance. So we should be good to go and click save. This should request a new SSL cert and it should go ahead and get everything up and running for us. There we go. The SSL cert was renewed. It is in use. Let's encrypt. This is when it expires. Proxy host. And as you can see, nginx.sudo.dev. Okay, we had one issue that I want to point out but that I needed to fix. I put local host here. I actually had to put in the IP of the instance. Um, but other than that, that's the only thing I changed. So now if we go to nginx.sudowoodoo.dev, there is our web server. But as you can see, we have a certificate. So that is pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below or in my Discord. Again, the website to Nginx Proxy Manager will be in the description. Make sure you guys go check that out if you have any questions. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed.